Hello! I'm fully aware that I look like I do drugs, but that's okay. Um, we all have those days where you look like you do meth. Um, I'm watching my neighbor film some sort of brand deal in his apartment right now. I'm just staring at him. You guys, everyone that lives in my apartment building is an influencer. Every single, and my apartment complex is giant. Bye. So here's what's going on. Here's what's happening today. Um, unless I'm going to like a concert or I'm like going out to a party or something like that. Like I am, I am in bed by five o'clock. I am clocked out by five o'clock. I am in bed. I am my life after 5 p.m. is like there's no speaking involved. I don't speak. I don't interact with people. I don't leave my bed. As soon as it's dark outside, I am in my bed smoking blunts, watching movies, reading books, not talking to anybody. That's like my thing. And then it's lights out by like 8:30. Like, <laughs> but tonight, like <laughs> it's like 4:30 right now. Like it's almost it's it's almost that point. Yeah, it's 4:30. It's almost to that point where I'm supposed to be in bed. But I kind of just decided that I want to go to this like so Harry Styles is back in LA and obviously me and my friends went to the shows last night and the night before and then there's also one tomorrow there is not one tonight but there is there's like this place called club 90s and they throw like like these like like themed club nights if you will like they have like midnight memories night so it's like a big one direction party and i've always wanted to go but like it's never like lined up with like where i am like i'm always like somewhere else when they're having like a midnight memories night like i'm never around but they're having one tonight and like I've been suffering with this all day. I'm like, I want to go so bad, but like I I'm fucking tired, bro Like but I think I've decided to suck it up I think I need to make this happen because I'll ha I made a pros and cons list in my head a few hours ago And I really need to go to this one direction night because I've been wanting to do it for two years. I YOLO I'm in my YOLO era. I'm having fun. These are the types of things that I'm going to remember when I am an old person. These are the memories that I'm going to make. I'm not going to remember like, oh, that night that I went to bed at 6 p.m. Like, that's not like what I'm going to be thinking about when I'm old. So I need to continue to make these memories. And all my friends are down. Like, I wanted to invite like some of my followers because they have like VIP tables at the my point is like I'm just nervous that I'm gonna like dwindle out because it's only like five o'clock right now and I'm get, like the thing doesn't start until 9 30 tonight so like i don't know what the hell to do right now because if i lay in bed and smoke and do my normal routine like i am not going like i will not go once the time comes so i need to like steer clear from my bed you know what i mean they have like vip tables at this place for only like 300 bucks which is like funny <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get that because it comes with six tickets um and it's gonna be me jordy i think jordy's friend might come and then i posted on my story i was like hey who wants to come to my table because i have like extra room and this adorable follower who has been dming me about harry and other things in general asked if her and her friend could go i just responded to her name's Haley. also you guys i just ran down to the lacing office um to grab like a new k and i went to the package room and look at this shirt that i got in the mail it's a Harry's House shirt from Etsy. I'm so happy that I bought this. Okay, I'm buying my table now, which means that I am completely, I'm completely setting myself up right now. Once I press this button, I'm going. I'm going out. What are we gonna do before we have to get ready? Ooh, we can pregame together later and like get ready and stuff. I have like the cutest dress that I might wear because I ordered a bunch of dresses for like the Palm Spring shows and stuff. Um, and I have like extra ones that I could like bring out to play tonight, I don't know. Or I could just wear a t-shirt and slum it. I don't know what to do. I bought it and I just signed away my night, but I'm so excited. See, like all of a sudden I'm like excited. Like I just texted Jordi, I was like, for some reason, like I just entered beast mode. Like it's crazy. I have to feed the kids. That's our first activity. Then I need to feed myself. Maybe we can grab dinner. I don't know. We need to make dinner for the four cats, the dog, and the bird. We have a lot of mouths to feed around here, you guys. Also, can I show you something funny? I don't condone vaping. Vaping is bad, don't vape, but I personally do, okay? And I went to go get a new puff bar today, and it came with like a fucking like fluorescent lanyard. <laughs> can you imagine literally seeing someone walk down the street like this? How embarrassing, because I was tempted to do this today, because it's convenient, you don't have to hold it, but like, this is fucking embarrassing. This is fucking embarrassing. Okay, all the animals are screaming because they know I just made kidney food for Phoebe, made by Nacho for Roger. Kitten Hills prescription diet for kittens. Dry food for Miko. And then Marty's special boy dinner. Marty has blueberries, bell peppers, zucchini, summer squash, cauliflower, broccoli, and a piece of cucumber roll sushi. Yeah, you be eating decadent, my boy. You don't want to see the process of feeding them because it's actually quite like, it's it's wild. 
It's fucking wild. <laughs> I have to feed them all in separate rooms because they try to kill each other over food. Uh I cannot bring myself to eat anything besides breakfast foods for the past entire four days. I have been through five of these bottles of eggs in the past four days. Like instead of cooking like a nice dinner or whatever, I will just eat an entire bottle of this. It's what I've been into, it's fine. Like I'm rolling with it, but like it's like I'm making more eggs and hash browns for, for dinner tonight. And there's nothing wrong with that. These hash browns though have been in my freezer for like a solid year. Um, so I don't know if that's bad, but like I don't really care. Okay, disclaimer, nothing I ever make looks appetizing, but I promise you it tastes I like low-key burn the hash browns and they look very dry and I also almost set off the smoke detector, so we went through hell for this meal. Let's do a little taste test and try the dry hash browns first. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Too much salt. <laughs> I kind of knew it while I was doing it too, because I love salt. Usually I can't do like too much salt, but you know when you like do like once a year and you can like hardly eat it because there's just way too much salt. Yeah, that's just that's just what happened there. Um, I dumped like a pound of Cholula on my vegan eggs. Mm. Mm. Always delicious. I'm gonna watch a vlog. I'm watching We Spent the Holidays in Vegas dot 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 feral behavior. Mari's video he just posted, so I'm gonna shove this down my throat, like quite literally, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, quick interruption from the video to give you guys quite literally the best Valentine's Day gift idea that you're ever gonna hear from anybody. I've cracked the code. I've figured out literally the best Valentine's Day gift that you could get for yourself, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, it's a universal thing. This is a rose vibrator. I got this last Valentine's Day and something clicked a few weeks ago. I was like, hold on. Screw the real roses, screw the chocolates, that's boring. This is incredible. This is literally the most perfect Valentine's Day gift. I got this from Love Honey. Love Honey is the biggest online sex toy store and they also sell lingerie. So here's what I'm thinking. If you're a girl, you get this and you get a set of lingerie from Love Honey for your boyfriend. You have the most magical night ever on Valentine's Day. Or you could get this for your girlfriend and surprise her with this and a set of lingerie and then have the most magical night ever. Or if you're single like me, you could get this and have the, say it with me, the most magical night ever. This works in so many different ways. Being real for a second though, this is literally the best vibrator I've ever used. I've been using it every single day for like a year now. Love Honey uses pressured air technology instead of vibrations um, for their vibrator. So it's just so, it's just so much better. So you're welcome for like the best gift ever. I'll give you a little hug. You're welcome. I'm always looking out for you. I'm gonna put my code right here because I also have a discount for you. I'm gonna put the link in my description and if you use my code, you'll get some money off. We're saving money. We're having orgasms. We're <laughs> it's gonna be a great day, all right? I know this is why. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna put on my little lingerie set from Love Honey and use my little rose and have the most magical night ever. Back to the video. Thank you, Love Honey, for sponsoring today's video. You are truly one of my favorite brands under the sun, so thank you very much. I love you. I love you, and I love this rose. It's changed my life. But back to the video. <sighs> that was lame. Oh my god. I just showered because I was a bit musty from milling around Hollywood all day long. I'm getting my hair situation sorted out right now so that I can possibly lay in bed for an hour. That sounds like it would be lit. Um, you guys, I took out my extensions like a month ago and I thought that I was gonna get them back in like a few weeks later and I never did. You wanna know why? I was so sick of having like six pounds of hair on my back all day long and like I couldn't wash it because it would take me like three and a half hours just to like blow dry it and straighten it and shit and it was so much work to the point where I just never washed it I'll just put it up in a ponytail and call it a day and like go like a week and a half it's just not fun for me like I, I hated it but I do miss like my high ponytails my hair is very like short and thin so I can't do like a high pony anymore I've been doing like the half up situation it's fine but like having no extensions is wonderful it's like having a weight off my shoulders like literally okay i have to do my makeup so i figured i would give you guys a little makeup tutorial if you will it's not like a full coverage look by any means i don't use foundation and i don't like do my eye makeup but i do everything else and it's just bronzy and glowy and like cute. Like I finally found a routine that i fucking love i'm gonna show you what i do because i did it finally I figured it out. I'm a fucking success story, okay? 
I primed my skin with the Hangover RX Too Faced primer. I literally use this like my whole life. When I was in like middle school, all throughout like middle school and high school, I wore heavy makeup every single day. I was so into like watching beauty gurus on YouTube and like I accumulated this huge makeup collection. I had a vanity. I would like, I would do people's makeup for like proms and like events and weddings and stuff like that. And then like right after high school, I stopped wearing makeup altogether. Like I didn't wear anything for like three years. Now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade 6.5 medium. I feel like a fucking beauty guru. But yeah, I stopped wearing all makeup because I I thought that like you had to wear foundation or like you couldn't, you could, or, there, or there was no point. And foundation just doesn't work for me. I don't like the way it looks on me at all. I've tried so many, I don't care anymore. It's not my thing. I just put it under my eyes and like there and I blend it out with a beauty blender. Um, But then after my three year phase of wearing nothing on my face, I started just doing like freckles and bronzer. I would just put like a powdered bronzer on my cheekbones and do freckles for like ever. And then recently, I would say like two months ago, I decided that I wanted to like try to figure out like a whole routine for my face like that doesn't involve foundation and I fucking did it bro but I love my little my little makeup routine it's so fun okay now that that's all blended out I take this cream wait what this wet wet liquid contour I use the iconic London one I actually just found this like last week and I'm fucking obsessed with it it blends out in like seconds but I put it on my hand because it's like a weird like applicator it comes out too fast so I put like a little bit on my hand and then I'll like dot it where I want it. So we're gonna go right there, yeah. I'm not the best at contouring, I don't wanna hear it y'all, but a girl can try, so. I used the like Charlotte Tilbury magic one that's so popular for a while, but first of all, like it comes with like no product in it. Like it's like literally empty. And it's so orange, like, ugh. It made me so orange. This one's like not as bad, but I feel like all bronzers nowadays for some reason are fucking orange. Like it makes no sense. I don't like like warm toned things. I like cool toned things. But I guess that's like not a thing with bronzer. Um, so I just blend it out. It takes like two seconds. Like look at that already, like it's almost there. And then, and then it's done. Like it blends out so easily, it's like crazy. I've never even heard of this product before. Somebody like recommended it to me at Sephora. But yeah, I actually, I really like this, this cream contour, but if anyone, I would rate it like a nine out of 10 just because it's slightly too warm for me. If anyone knows like a good, like cool toned liquid contour, fucking let a bitch know. Let me in on that shit cause I need it. I'm adding like a little bit more just cause I'm like a teensy bit more just for funsies. Okay, I don't know how to like nose contour. I'm not claiming that I do, but I just kind of like f fucking wing it. Uh, honey, what is that? Like, just just skip the step. I just want to like, you know. Okay, now I just take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I've been using this since middle school. Um, it is the best one. Not like I've tried many, but it's amazing. And I just set everything that I just did with this random brush. I have no idea where it's from. It's from Deck of Scarlet. I, li I don't know, I, I like it. I use this in multiple different ways. I use it for my blush too. And I just set all over where I just put liquid. Okay, now I take this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I've been using this for, oh God. One of the shades broke and just spilled all over my lap. That's nice. I just deepen my contour a little bit. I use the two darker shades and I mix them together and I just put them everywhere that I just contoured. Remember when I said I had like a phase where I just did bronzer and freckles for like years? This is always what I've used. It's like my favorite bronzer in the world. Okay, I have this random palette. It's called the Siate London Disney and Pixar Edna Mode Collection. I think it's so funny. And I open up this one on the top left and it's a blush. It's like a shimmery blush. It's called No Capes. I don't know. I use the same brush that I use for powder. I should probably just get a separate brush, but I'm lazy. And I put this just like above my contour, sort of. And I also put it on my nose. I saw this on TikTok like last month and it's so cute. Like it makes you look sun kissed and like, oh, I was in the sun all day long and I got burned and I live on the beach and whatever. It makes you look so freaking adorable. It's not like showing up on camera, but it's a really pretty blush, blush, blush. I like it. Okay, now I use highlighter, but my camera is sitting on my highlighter. So I'm wondering what to do right now. I'm gonna take it off. Okay, I use this highlighter. It's from Deck of Scarlet. I think this is called. Yeah, Deck of Scarlet, and it's like a two, a two panned highlighter. There's this like lighter one, and then like a bronzy one. I used the bronzy one, and I got a little highlight, highlight, 
I got a little highlight brush from Rare Beauty. I used the bronzy one. I just put it, you know, where everyone highlights. It's a really pretty highlight. Like, I'm upset. I don't know if you can tell, but it's so cute. And I just put it on my nose and on my cupid's bow, even though it comes off of my lips in, like, seconds. Because I put on chapstick, like, 1,500 times a day. I love, like, the electrocuted brow look. I've been doing it for, like, years now. And I've tried so many different products for it. This is the best one. It's the Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is actually the first one I ever tried to do this look. And I loved it so much, but I still wanted to, like, try other things. So I kept trying other things. But this is the best one. I never wash this. That's gross. There's like dried up gel of this brush. Should I wash it? I don't feel like washing it. I'm gonna go wash this. That's like nasty and it's like not cute. Okay, she's clean. But yeah, I think this is the best product ever. It just keeps them nice and spiky like all day. I'll use this side of the brush to like smooth them down a tiny bit, for, but for the most part, I like when they're like really like up there we're almost done i love doing like sitting down and doing my makeup all, like wah. we're almost done we have like two steps left and then we're fucking done and i have so much time left before i have to leave for this club i use that dark shade from the same shade and light palette and that's what i use to do my freckles i've used like freck pens like like the pens that are like made for doing freckles but this is the best thing in my opinion just a little angled brush and like a brown like eyeshadow or like a bronzer okay freckles are on we're looking glowy you can't see shit in this lighting huh looks like i did nothing to my face but i'm just gonna set it with the hangover rx two face it's like tara set what oh <laughs> oh this is scary I think Mike's coming over in like an hour to pregame together. Um, he's going to a party in the hills tonight and he really wanted me to go, but I cannot miss this One Direction night. So we're gonna pregame together and then go our separate ways. And it's gonna be so weird because I don't think me and Mike have been out without each other since we've met. So it's weird that we're both going out, but like not to the same place. Like that's gonna be really sad for me and sad for him, but it's okay. I got a bunch of dresses from White Fox for these shows but i ordered six of them and i just tried all of them on and three of them are like amazing so i need to wear those to the rest of the shows because there's three more shows left but the other three look like garbo on me so i'm like what do i wear tonight does that mean i can go comfy vibes i don't want to go comfy vibes every time i go out now like i enjoy dressing up which is so weird because i never used to be like that i still like don't dress up sometimes obviously but I've been having a really fun time with like my dress era. Like I love this, it's so fun. Like I love, you can't tell what this dress even is when it's not on, but I want to wear this tonight so bad, but I need to wear it tomorrow. Like you can't even tell what this is, but you you might get, no you don't get the point. I don't know. I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to do. I need a white claw, like probably right now. I don't even think you guys understand. I want to wear this dress so bad. I got this from White Fox. Like, this is the one I showed you earlier and I was like, you you can't tell like what the hell this is, but it's so cute, it's so hairy. That's why I can't like, I wanna save it for tomorrow, but I wanna wear it so bad tonight. Like, fuck, it's not that deep, but like, I'm <laughs> just like. But then again, okay, look at this shirt. Hold on, I'll be right back. See you right there. I have this shirt that I've never worn before. It's like a reworked vintage One Direction, vintage One Direction t-shirt. It's almost vintage, okay? Before anyone says shit, but it's like reworked vintage. And it's such a cool shirt from like the Up All Night tour and there's like a zipper on it. So I could wear this, but like what the hell would I wear on the bottom? Okay, I decided to take a boring route because I had no other choice. I'm like not in the mood to be miserable tonight. So I'm going the little black dress route, which I think is fine because little black dress just walked into the room. So I think it's like, whatever, it's not that deep. It's just like, I just tried on six dresses and every one of them had like something wrong that I didn't feel like dealing with tonight. Like the last one I just had on was like this little cute, like lime green moment, but like, my ass was out while I was just standing. Like, let alone me like literally like this later, like people would see my asshole and that's not happening, so. I actually wore this on Harry Ween. I just wore this and I dumped blood all over my body and wore a white boa and called it a day. We also just filled out our table, which is great. So it's me, Jordy, the girl who I was talking about earlier and her friend. They're actually camping right now, but they're coming anyways. And then Jordy just found two girls that really wanna go. But they're not 21, but they have fake IDs, so I don't give a shit. Um, one thing about me is I'm cracking open the claw. One thing about me. Look at these weird ass hickeys that I got from a boy the other day. Um, 
They're like dots. Like they look like bug bites, but they're hickeys. I don't know. I also like, I don't think you guys can tell right now. You guys see that? Those are bruises on my lips. It looks like I just got lip injections because I made out with a boy so hard the other night that he left me lip hickeys. Like the morning I woke up after that, my lips were black and purple. Like it was fucking insane. I've never had a lip hickey before from kissing someone too intensely. Like that rocked my world. The more you know. Cheers, let's crack her open. I'm feeling a little shisty right now, you guys. It's like, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but like the past few weeks, like I'll drink one White Claw and feel crazy. Like not crazy, but like, I feel like that's weird. Like. I, I, <laughs> I drink one white claw and I'm like ready to go. That makes no sense. Um, yeah, I still overdo it every time I go out. Why? I'm like seriously thinking about wearing, <laughs> cause it's so convenient. It's just embarrassing like this. Like if you met somebody with a vape hanging off of their neck with a like literal fluorescent lanyard, you would immediately judge them and not in a good way. And like I, it's just too convenient. Like I'll never lose this. Well, I'll still probably manage to, but like with Jordy. This is, is it, how cringy is this? Very. It's so cringy, it was very. <laughs> I cannot stress to you guys enough how that was like literally the best night of my life. Can you hear it in my voice? Like that was insane. My review on Club 90's like themed nights, unbelievable. Like it's literally like one big One Direction party. Like what a dream come true. It was so much fun. The girls that I was DMing that ended up coming with me are like my four lifers. Like they are my fucking bitches. We got so drunk and like screamed our hearts out and then Ubered to the forum because like they were camping and my drunk ass like ran around It was like four in the morning. I was at the forum Sprinting through like tents and like falling I had bruises all over my legs And then I cuddled with them in their tent at literally 4 a.m. For like an hour and then I went home and now I'm getting ready for Harry again <laughs> this like LA residency has been the time of my life like it is this is the most fun i've ever had i've never been so fucking happy the people that i've met the friends i've made like max i fucking met max through all of this i need max for the rest of my life and i'm so blessed that th harry brought us together like i don't know okay i'll shut the fuck up thank you for watching i don't even know what this video was like a Get ready, get ready with me, like, I don't know. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Love Henny. You can use my code for some money off. I'll put the link down in the description. And yeah, I'm gonna go put on a skimpy little dress and go to the forum for the 50th time this year. I love you guys more than words can describe. Make sure to like and subscribe so that, let's say it all together, I don't end up on the streets. That would suck. Um, But yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm gonna shut up. I'm sorry I'm super annoying at the end of videos. I just like don't know what to say. I'm like, bye. <laughs>